Hi there. For today's tutorial, we are going to be doing, we're going to be working with rhythm mouth foof, uh, which means rolling. And it's usually always used with a traveling type of step, usually to enter the stage and to move. And the challenge might be for us now working in different size spaces. So typically I'm thinking about big productions and tr big travel steps across a massive stage. Uh, and now we might be dancing in our homes or in a different space, a smaller space. So let's think of this as an opportunity, an opportunity to try something new and to grow and to learn. So I'm excited to share with you. It's a little bit in the BDE style and we've got some, some um, directional changes. So you might want to just review it once uh, before you jump into it and check your surroundings, check your space around, see what's near you because we're gonna be moving and traveling. And I want you to challenge yourself with trying variations of this. So if the turn, if we're gonna do one and a half turns when we go front and back, if that feels too fast, you can do a half turn. You can easily change it to a half turn. If it feels too slow and you're super professional level, go ahead and add two and a half turns. I'll be doing one and a half for this one. So explore what that feels like you know walk the space a little bit and i'm really i'm really excited about these new opportunities i'm trying to take a positive approach to the the quarantine situation and just approach this with an opportunity to learn and to grow and to be challenged so let's get into it i'll give you a breakdown all right so again think about your spacing be aware of where you are think you know look around your room check out the floor uh, because this is going to be a little bit of you know traveling like i said so let's go ahead and start with uh we're going to be doing um a chasse we're going to start on relevé if you will and then one two three one two three so basic step you guys already know this now i want to see how much juicy hips you can add to it. So this is the opportunity. Tra taking like a nice figure eight, you could even do like a little undulation with that, right? So you could do chasse, chasse up and down. You could do a little camel with that. You can add a little twist and play because you're not gonna be traveling too far. So you have an opportunity to add extra juicy stuff with it, okay? So we're starting on the right foot. I've got my orange for my right, so you can follow easily on the screen. We're gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left, diva walk, walk and step, drop the weight down. I call it a diva walk. Imagine you're in stilettos or high heels. You're Marilyn Monroe style, so it's push, push. And you need a lot of confidence and attitude there. So again, an opportunity to play with the hips, make them slinky and juicy. All right, from the top, on the right, chasse. One, two, three, one, two, three. Walk, walk, press. So you're gonna take all your weight to the right. We're gonna drag left. This is a little bit in the BDE style. Drag left, both legs are mostly straight and energy is happening a lot with those arms here. Use your obliques to control it. Here we go cross, one and a half turns to the back. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing Drag to your left, cross with the right, one and a half turns to the left. So make sure, a couple of tips, make sure you're spotting where you want to land. So I go drag, cross, as I start to prep for that turn, I look to the back, look to the back, and I land to the back. I drag here, cross, I want to land in front, so I have to spot that turn in front, get my head around nice and fast. Let's take it from the top. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk, walk, down, and drag, cross, turn. Drag, cross, and the turn. The left foot is going to be free out of that turn. From here, we're going to go camel back. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Prep, step. Okay, let's do it again. Camel left, right, left, right, left, right, step. Left. You can do this a little bit of like a horse inspiration. You can pass it up or down. I'm going to probably keep my foot connected. Here, lift the arms. From here, step forward on the right, turn to the back. You're going to pop the right hip, come together, pop the left hip, come together on the left, 
come together and touch it, and then you're going to turn to the left, and you're going to do a head roll. The head roll is just a half of a head roll. So you go side, forward, quarter side, diagonal, and then flick. So the flick kind of gets the hair out of the way. Now, depending on your space, you might find this one a little challenging. Think about how you can play with going side to side, front and back, moving on the diagonals. So let's take it again from the top, chasse on the right. We go one and two, three and four, walk, five, six, six, seven, eight. Drag left, cross, turn to the left. Drag, cross, turn to the left. Camel back left and right. Horse, step, back. Pop right, pop left. Together, turn and head roll. Chasse, chasse, hips, hips, plie. Drag left, cross, turn to the back. Drag, cross, turn to the front. Camel back left, camel back right. Sit, step to the back. Pop right, pop left. Touch, turn, and head roll. Here. Play with that, play with how you, much you swing your head. If this is challenging, take the head roll out. Get your feet working first, then the hips, then the body, and then spin the head um, however you want to. Play with that, but make sure your neck is nice and warmed up. Make sure you have a nice warm up. So let's do this to some music. We're going to be using the off -oof. for watching please don't forget to subscribe live love dance inspire